you're not gonna find the house you're looking for in Savannah, Georgia. Let me tell you why I'm making this video. I get calls every single week from people who are working with other agents and they say, hey, this guy right here is sending me ugly homes and I wanna see nicer homes. I've been looking for something with X, Y, and Z under this price range and he's not, you know, or they haven't been able to send it to me. So I want you to send it to me. And here's the problem. We all have access to the same exact inventory, guys. All of those houses you see on Zillow, all of those houses you see on Trulia, all of those houses you see on Realtor.com came from the same exact MLS. We have access to the same MLS. We are the association of realtors in the area. We have access to the same exact inventory unless... Unless, unless, unless you find unlisted property, meaning off-market properties, property that have not been on the market yet. Now, here's why I say that you're not going to find the home you're looking for in Savannah, Georgia. I say this because simply a lot of you guys are looking for homes under $300,000, all right? So if maybe that's not you, it doesn't apply to you what I'm about to say, but check this out. The price medium of residential real estate in Savannah, meaning Chatham County, right now, 2023, I'm recording this on August 2023, $340,000. Bryan County, which is the Richmond Hill area, is about $390,000. Effingham County, which is Guyton, Rankin, things like that, $328,000, okay? Now, here's the most important thing you need to know. If you call me, here's what you need to expect, not only from me, but also from all the other agents that you are unhappy with and disappointed, all right? So in Chatham County, you have a 15% chance of finding the home you're looking for. If your budget is below 300,000, only 15% of the inventory is below that price. And guess what? The majority of those homes under $300,000 need a lot of work and probably don't even qualify for financing. All right. So let's move on now to Bryan County. If you're, you know, if your budget is below $300,000 in Bryan County, the chances of you finding the home you're looking for is about 10%. That means you have a 90% chance of failing. All right. So that's what you need to expect. Effingham, which is the Rincon area, Guyton, and et cetera. You have a 17% chance of finding a home under 300000 So that means you have an 83% chance of failing. So, okay, I want to disappoint you guys before you, know, before you call me or maybe call somebody else and maybe you know, are very unhappy with the realtors. Let me tell you this. We don't control the prices and we cannot force owners to, to get less, all right, for their home. If they want to sell their homes at market value and that market value is 380000 guess what? It is 380000 my friend, so just deal with it. Now, here's a reality check of properties available right now. That's what you can get in Pooler for 235000 which is just a townhouse. This other one is a single-family home for 325000 This other one is a two-story for 325000 Check this out, 395,000. This brand new construction in Pooler for 410,000. And this other one for 450. You see how the price changes? This other one in Savannah Quarter for 479,000 in just a townhouse. And this other one for 485,000 in Pooler. Now in Richmond Hill, that's what you can get for 240 right now in August. 275, that's the type of home you will be able to find in if you go a little bit above, 284,000, that's what you can find in Richmond Hill. This other one is for 335,000 in Richmond Hill, all right? Now, this one, as you can see, bigger for 385,000 in Richmond Hill, Georgia, and this other one almost for 400,000 in Richmond Hill, Georgia. Now, if you continue, this one, you can get it for 425,000, and this other one almost at the end, 460,000, and let me show you another one for $497,000 right here in Richmond Hill. Now, let's go to Savannah now. Check this out. $120,000 in Savannah. That's what you can get, guys. It's laughable. Check this out. $132,000 in Savannah, Georgia, all right? For all of you guys that want to stay below two hundred, dollars that's what you can expect. $169,000 in Savannah. This other one, $325,000. And I know, yes, it is small. Check this out. This other one for four. dollars 
114,000. Now, if you wanted to see what are the areas in Savannah that are the cheapest. So the cheapest zip code right now is South Savannah, which is 31419. The most expensive is the Tybee Island area. Those are the top two over there, the 31411 and the 3 one three two eight those are tybee island area then you have three one four oh one which is basically the downtown area of savannah three one four one zero is basically wimbledon island area three one three two two is actually pooler georgia pooler three one four oh five is basically the west savannah area three one three oh two is basically bloomingdale the three one four oh seven is port wentworth and three one four oh six which is basically you can say East Savannah, but it's actually not all the way on the east. It's actually Southeast Savannah. All right. So there you have it. Hope that helps. See you guys soon.